Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this special figure showcase and review we're looking at the quite elusive Japanese exclusive Autobot Headmaster Warrior Toraiser. So what we're going to do with this video, he is very small so I am going to do as best I can. I'm going to show you him in both modes. I'm going to show you him with some of the other Japanese exclusive Headmaster figures that I've got. And I've also got, so I will zoom out, don't worry, I've got some Headmaster figures at hand as well, which we can show you how the Headmaster gimmick worked and the fact that you could use them pretty much again on either faction. So for those of you who have not seen this guy before, um, in Japan in 1987, they had, um, again, their own toy line, their own cartoons. Funny enough, it was still called Headmasters, a bit like what Sunbo was doing in 1987, but they paid no attention to it. Um, they also disregarded the movie that happened in 1986, um, and they just carried on with their own toy line and their own stories. Now, this guy is, I suppose, a little bit supposed to be like a, ti um, a tiger, because his name is Toraiza, and Tora is the Japanese word for tiger. And as I say, the alternate mode is this. But the actual main mode, unbelievably, is a head. And this is, as I say, I suppose can be quite confusing because all of these, oh, I really shouldn't do these, are supposed to be, let's move the tail out of the way, exactly that. They're supposed to be headmasters. Right, there's the bottom of the head. Let's bring that down and let's fold this back. Um, and yeah, exactly that. So their main mode, even though lots of other figures, you know, the robot's the main mode or they've got an alternate mode, which is a car, this is totally different. This guy's main mode is a head. And as you can see, I was struggling to transform a very simple figure, but I just wanted to make sure I was doing it right. There is his main mode. Uh, funnily enough, while we're looking at this, see there's the date stamp in Takara there. Um, I did mention on the unboxing video that although they've not reissued these or used these molds before, they have been KO'd. So if you've got one and it doesn't have the logo on, I'm so sorry to tell you it's a KO. Or if you're looking to buy one, you need to be looking an original one they do have the stamp there but again it's each to your own if you want to get the ko's then they're a little bit more widely available so there is teresa so it sounds like i'm saying teresa but it's obviously not so what i'm probably going to need to do yes i am i'm going to need to pan up and out a little bit which is no problem so if i come back to about there there we go All right so we've got um highbrow there and the brilliant thing about these headmasters was exactly that they you know you could use them on any particular uh mold oh, i shouldn't do this either but there you go you can see um highbrow's headmaster what his stats are whereas if i take this guy i can pop him in there like so and his whole stats are completely different now you can also put this on any any headmaster at all so autobot or decepticon and what you usually can do but it's probably because this hasn't been um used or played with it doesn't look like it anyway you can actually and just to prove because again i've done this in another video you would be able to put him in there as well but i'm gonna have one little go but it's just so stiff i think it's because of this here it doesn't look like as i say it's been put in well, it definitely hasn't been put in a small headmaster because why would you do that? Oh, there you go. And straight away it goes and works. Um, and the reason why I got him because I thought it'd go well with his colour scheme. It does. It goes really well with Squeeze Place colour scheme. But just to show you there that you can do exactly that. Um, there's not obviously not much more to say about them. They didn't come with any of their bodies. They didn't have any bodies. These were just Autobot headmaster warriors which came separately in little boxes again if you want to see the little boxes they came in check out the video i did on kirk um, i've got a video of the other ones which i'm about to show you now um, there's still one more which i don't actually have in my possession yet but he is on the way um, and i suppose the best thing to do now very quickly then is just to show you these so we've got all the rest of the ones i've got well i've got four of the others uh, so there's kirk funnily enough we've got loafer and we've got rodney no i'm not joking one of the names is rodney uh, or that hasn't translated very well oh and he hasn't balanced either very well so can he stay there because what i want to show you is the other one and that is leon and as i said in the unboxing the cool thing about this is that there's three where their alternate modes are robots and there's three where their alternate modes are beasts so there's leon and then if i move over I'm going to transform him back very carefully. So let's fold the legs up, fold these out of the way, fold the back body down like so. 
the head folded over as I brought it down and there's his tail as well. So there you go. There's five of the six Japanese Autobot Headmaster Warriors. Hope you enjoyed looking at him and the other one is on his way soon to complete them and to complete the video collection of these. Check out the playlists on this channel for other Japanese exclusive figures if you like to see things like this. Thank you ever much for watching guys. Take care.